Happy 2018! I thought I'd try something a little different and work on a series of videos that'll help us to make our show files a little bit simpler, a little cleaner, a little bit more efficient. And since it's 2018, I put together 18 video tutorials to help us do just that. And we're going to do this together. So what that means is we are all going to work in the same show file. And I've got the show file available for you. You can download it on my website, consultrainer.com, or in the description below this YouTube video. Now, don't worry, it's not a fancy or large show file. In fact, if you've watched my other video tutorials, it should look pretty familiar. If you don't want to use my show file, that's okay. If you want to use your own, that's fine too. And hey, if you just feel like watching the videos and not participating in the workshop portion, that's cool too. And if you've been using the console for any amount of time, there's probably going to be a couple of tips that you already know. And maybe there'll be one or two tips where you think, this doesn't work for me. That's okay. Everybody's different. The videos start tomorrow, January 1st. What you can do now is get together all the things you need to participate. You will need a Grandma 2 console or Grandma 2 on PC, either way running version 3.3.4.3. You'll also need a thumb drive. You will need a copy of my show file that I already mentioned. And if you want, you can also get Grandma 3, but it's not necessary. You don't have to have it for the purposes of these exercises. Links for the software and the show file are available on consultrainer.com, also in the description of this YouTube video. And as always, they are all free. If you're new to loading show files into a Grandma 2 system, just stay here with me on this video and I'll walk you through it. Otherwise, you're good to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, if you're still with me, we're going to do this next part together. Grab your thumb drive. The show file download is in a zipped folder, so you'll need to unzip that first. Most OSs just allow for you to double click on them to open them. But if this isn't an option for you, you may need to right click on the file and open some sort of decompressor to open the file. In the new folder, you'll find a file labeled consultrainer2018.show.gz. The full name is important. If you see the name as consultrainer2018.show, this means your computer just dropped the gz extension. The console won't understand this, but it's an easy fix. Just rename the file and add .gz to the name. Next, we're going to put it on a thumb drive. I'm choosing this method because it will work whether you're on a console or a PC. The GrandMA needs to see a certain file system on the thumb drive, and if you haven't used your drive before with the Grandma 2, then your drive won't yet have this system, so we'll add it. Open up on PC or go to your console and open any show file, even a blank one. Now go into Backup and select your thumb drive and save this show. Again, it doesn't matter what the show is. The whole system structure will be created at the same time as your backup. Back on your computer, if you look at your thumb drive now, you'll see the Grandma 2 folder tree. In the Grandma 2 folder, open the Shows folder. Now drop the consultrainer2018.show.gz file into the Shows folder. Make sure that the .gz extension is present and you're good to go. Now on your console, in the Backup menu, select your thumb drive again and click Load Show. Select Console Trainer 2018, check all of the boxes, and load her up. Make a backup to your hard drive, and you're now ready for tomorrow.